first off, guys, my name is Deidre Sherman. I'm under FFL Limitless, and I help about 20 to 30 families a month consistently by using this foam burner system. But it's not just about how much I'm producing per month consistently. The reason why I love this platform is I'm able to help other agents use it and 20, 30 families a month as well. Um, so I wanted to go over how I upload my leads into the phone burner system. And then also what does it actually look like in the phone burner platform? Now you guys are going to ask me what type of leads do I use? The only leads that I use with this phone burner system is the internet life leads. Now I use the brand new instant internet life leads. I use the brand new, um, one month internet, internet life leads, the two month internet life leads, three month internet life leads. I let all my brand new agents know, hey, buy about 20, 20 leads per um, different type of internet life lead, test them out yourself, see which age you like because it's different strokes for different folks. But you always wanna have at least 100, 100 to 120 leads at a time. So let me share my screen real quick. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Okay, yes. so we're going to talk about how to upload your leads into the phone burner system. This is very straightforward. So as you can see, I'm in the CRM. You can see that I have my internet life leads ready. I'm only going to do, do 40 for now just to show you guys. But I go on the left, left side right here. I select all my leads. I export them. And you have to export your leads into CSV. Luckily, the CRM already does that for us. So then you can immediately go to the phone burner platform. You'll want to create an account. And Grady, do you have that URL where people can save a discount per month? So it's about 100 bucks a month. Yeah, someone will drop in the chat. I believe it's phoneburneragency.com. And that was, they don't do discounts. So the fact that we get 30% off is a testament to, you know, what the value they see in partnering with FFL. So uh, and also Mike's dropped agency dial training. We have like an, a, a detailed training type website where there's like six, 10 different videos kind of breaking down all these little things that DJ is doing in a quick version. But if you need more information, agency dial training, um, or then go to phone burner agency. Uh, that's the, where the discounted link is. So it's 30% off. Uh, make sure you go through that link. Or if you accidentally sign up through the wrong link, just tell them you're with FFL and they'll credit you. So good work. Thanks, D. Perfect. And then, so this is what the phone burner system, system looks like. You'll see all of the contacts listed here. You'll have their number, you'll have additional information, but I wanted to open up my CSV file real quick that I just exported from um, the CRM. Let me share, let's see. Okay. Can you guys see my CSV file? Okay, so this is, important for you guys to notate. So take out your notepad and write this down before you upload your leads. So you exported your CSV file from the CRM, but now you want to duplicate the numbers three times. And the reasoning for this is because if you guys know our FFL system, we train all of our agents to triple dial their leads in order to book appointments, do one call closes, um, or set up phone call appointments. So we can actually set that up with the phone burner system. So how we do that is I'm going to just copy and paste the same number three times. It can go under mobile work, whatever. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'll go back to phone burner. Oops, one second. Okay, I'll go back to phone, phone burner and it's very simple. You'll click import, drag your leads over, and you'll see here you have your leads listed. So as you can see, my lead ID, uh, received date, the first name, last name, status, lead type, lead owner, date of birth. Now, obviously, I don't need all of that information when I'm dialing these clients. So you'll see over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna select what fields you want them to import while you're dialing your clients. So this information will pop up. So obviously I don't want receive date. I do want their first name. 
So it's already auto matched it. And here they, they auto match their last name. I don't need the status of lead. Um, I don't need what type of lead it is. I don't need the lead owner. I do want their date of birth. So I'm gonna go down here and find date of birth. And then I do want their age. I have their email. If there's no home phone number, then don't import that file. Now here, this is important to notate. So you have phone numbers here that will be imported. It could be a home number, it could be a work number, it could be a mobile number. But down here, you have other phone numbers that are non-dialing. What that means is if you don't want them to dial that phone number, then click that. I'm not sure why you would click that, so I would just ignore it. But just so you guys know, um, match it up with the top three numbers up here. So as you can see, here's the mobile number. You want to put phone, mobile, work work and then that's just a label for the phone number um, you don't need this information down here you want their address and you want the notes and then you're ready to go to the next page are you guys with me so far i know it's very straightforward um, just kind of follow the steps and then here you can create a new folder so this is what i do for all of my leads is every time I upload a new lead type, I'll just type in Hawaii leads and the date that I got them. So that way I keep them separated. And then eventually, if you want to, you can always combine folders. So for instance, I already have Hawaii Internet Life leads. If I wanted to com combine this Hawaii pack with my other Hawaii Internet Life leads, I can do that. But for now, I wanna dial my brand new leads so I'm just gonna create a new folder and keep it separate for now. And then once you do that, you'll go ahead and click next, and then you'll review it just to make sure that all the information that you need in order to dial your clients are there. So you'll see it's gonna list their first name, their last name, their date of birth, age, email. You have their phone number three times, so that way you can triple dial your leads, and then you're ready to import them. Now, once we import them, you're going to go back to your dashboard. Oh, I'm sorry. Contacts. Click on the folder that you want to dial. And then up here, you're going to click to select all of your leads and then click begin dial session. Now, what's cool about phone burner is you can have a headset so you guys may see in some of my tiktoks i have a, a trucker headset so if i have my dogs at home and they're being loud i put my headset on <laughs> if i don't i like dialing for my phone because for me it's just easier and i don't like wearing a headset 24 7. but what you'll see on the next page is if you want to hook it up to your phone then you're gonna dial this number 702-941-7053, step-by-step process, you'll enter a code and then it will activate it through your phone, okay? So actually I'll go ahead and do it just so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Oh, wait, you guys can't see my screen. Let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it start, once you're about to start dialing. Now on my phone, it's gonna look like I'm having a phone call with somebody. So you wanna make sure that you don't hang up because then it's gonna hang up on your phone burner. But once you're ready to go, you'll click start dialing and boom, it's gonna start dialing your leads. Now you'll see, I have all my client's information, her email address, address right here. And then in the custom fields, there's additional information like date of birth, her age. And then if you have their favorite hobby or any additional notes, it's gonna input all the information. Now, if they don't answer, you click no answer. And then it's gonna dial the number again. So you'll see up at the top, it's gonna have the number duplicated three times. You want that to happen in order to triple dial your leads. Now, sorry, I'm just making sure that she doesn't answer. 
Now, if you only see that number once, that means that you didn't duplicate your number. You did not duplicate your number in the CSV sheet before uploading those leads. Are you guys with me on that? Any questions so far? Um, yes, I have a quick question. Um, my understanding was every time you click on a button on the bottom of the call session, that it counts as a disposition and it sends an email out with whatever the disposition is. Is that correct? Or is that only if you dial it and move on to the next person? That's another type of CRM. You can set it up with phone burner. Again, I choose not to. Um, I'm just showing you guys bare minimum on how to dial to get your agent set up as quickly as possible. Got it. No yeah. worries. That is, a, question, uh, that is a feature. Correct. You can set it up. And I, I don't think it's on no answer. It might be something else. I think there's a button you can even, you can adjust the buttons on the bottom and you can, you can click leave voicemail and it'll move and it'll start down again. You can click send text message and it'll mm -hmm. have an auto text built in. Cor I think correct. My, my question was just, I know that there's, when you hit one of those buttons, if you have a preloaded email for it, it automatically sends that email. My only concern was if you're doing the triple dial and you say no answer three times, that they get three emails from you back to back. Yeah, just edit, edit how you're doing it and do put it, the email on a different button then. Okay. I, I, yeah. Brady was correct on that. It's, it does not apply to the no answer. It's how the, it's how those buttons, those disposition buttons are formatted. So it's not going to happen on your no answers. It's going to happen on your on your actual dispositions, your your live dispositions with them, and they're formatted in there along with some other things. But like Deidre said, she was just kind of going through the yeah, the, um, cool just, just dialing. <laughs> yep. And then what's really cool? So as you can see, I paused the phone burner up here in the right hand corner corner once you're ready to go you'll click continue and then click no answer and then it's automatically going to go to the next lead okay now if you need to take a break again you can pause it um it will probably stay paused for about five minutes and then it will end your dialing session so i wouldn't leave your computer and expect it to be on the same lead so that's the only problem but once you're done dialing, you can click end dialing. And then what's really cool is it's going to show you how long you were dialing for, how many contacts you reached, how many people did you talk to, and then you'll see here how many emails were sent out, how many voicemails. You guys with me on that? Now I'm going to show you guys one last thing because the reason why I like phone burner is it helps us get in front of more people. Now, a key thing to that is matching the area code to the leads that you're dialing. So for instance, I'm dialing in Hawaii, the area code is 808. What I've done is I've also gotten the phone burner app on the app store. I'm not sure if they have it on Android, but let me show you. There, there are zero integrity partners who have an Android, so just okay, fantastic. Just, uh, give it the program. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have an iPhone, give it the program. Program, but anyways, there's a phone burner app. You'll have to download it on your iPhone, and then you'll be able to create a phone number. And once you do that, you'll go into the upper right hand corner. Go to dial session settings you'll go to caller ID. So this is where you're able to change your caller ID. So for right now I'm dialing in Texas. So you'll see I matched the area code 469, but I'm gonna show you guys how to add a caller ID. So for Hawaii, my phone burner number is, eight oh eight. And the number that I'm typing in is the phone burner number that I've created on the app. You wanna make sure that it matches. So now I'm gonna call myself. And, oh, one second. I don't know if you guys can hear this. 
It's just pretty much giving me a verification code. I didn't detect any input. Please press two. Okay, so that's going to be it for that simple. So now I'm going to delete my other area code because when I go back to contacts and I'm ready to dial, so I go back to my Hawaii leads, click begin dial session. Just set this up real quick. Thank you. Once you click the start button on your screen, your dial session will begin. You guys are now going to see the area code matches 808, 808. So of course, more people are going to be picking up when you have a matching area code. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. There are other, there are other tips and tricks, but I mean, I just try to get agents out as quickly as possible. So just use this for now. Um, as you start using phone burner, you're going to kind of figure out other tricks to use. But any questions other than this? Deidre, if I could just add back when you did the template. So when you do that mapping from field to field, you can actually save it as a template. So you only have to do that once for that type of lead. So if you're using CRM internet leads, you can use that same template every time you change to a different type of lead, you want to map it for that type of lead, but you can save those templates on that specific page. And that helps out a lot too. Boom. Now we can upload our leads quicker. But yeah, you guys will see. I mean, phone burner is very um, user friendly. I've used a lot of dialer systems before. Um, one thing that I like about phone burner is, as Grady said, our goal is to connect to the client as quickly as possible. I've noticed other um, dialer systems where there, there would be a delay where I would hear the person say, hello, who is, or I would hear them say, who is this? So they already said hello, but I didn't hear the beginning portion because there is a, such a delay in the pickup where with phone burner, it's instant. Um, so there's a lot of cool things that you guys can use with phone burner to get in front of more people, get in front of more clients, close more deals. Um, and most importantly, I used to be a field agent and I became a telesales agent because with phone burner, we can also record all of our calls. And if you have all of your agents using phone burner at the same time, you can start tracking their numbers as well. Um, because as Grady mentioned, act activity is the most important thing. So as long as we have high activity, we have um, enough volume of leads, which I mean, we all know the internet life leads, they're unlimited. We're going to be able to protect a lot more families. So I truly believe that this is the way in the future for sure. Awesome, Deidre. Thank you so much. Uh, drop a TY in the comments to show Deidre some gratitude for going through and detailing this out and then giving us a few free Hawaii leads. I don't know if anyone caught their, got their contact information. Um, but no, like, so the ultimate goal is obviously conversations, right? It's how many people we're talking to, how many people we're protecting, how many families are putting in a better position, which allow, ultimately allows us to take care of our own. And so just like you showed at the very beginning, the ideal goal is that there's a button basically on the leads that says import to phone burner and you're basically dialing from the ILC. You know, I saw a demo of it last week and it's going to be pretty slick to be able to have it all in one in one system. So uh, look forward to that. You know, don't email corporate or me or anybody, but it, it's it's in the works and that's what's exciting. And corporate's trying to put everyone in a better position to be more efficient and faster and more fluid and and um, and and hit the goals we're trying to hit. So I'm grateful for Deidre and wonderful that Garfield joined us and cheers to all of you guys that made it to the end of the training call. Uh, you're more educated, wiser, and now more confident to go out there and teach your team. So without further ado, everyone have a great day, great Monday, great week, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.